Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, I want to, in this video today, build a Meshnology N35. This is the N30, the N32. I've made build videos about those two. They're really great nodes, great for, um, uh, 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 you know, Meshtastic or Meshcore. You could load anything on them, uh, you know, any of those firmwares. But today I want to load... Um, uh, build this uh, N35. Now, um, this is fairly simple. These, um, and and really the biggest difference is that um, this N35 can take the bigger 3000 milliamp hour battery. Where, uh, you know, the N30, this guy has a uh, 1100 milliamp hour battery and a Haltech V3. This guy, which is a N32, has a um, 3,000 milliamp hour battery like this, but, uh, you know, it's the flat case. But um, I'm going to now build um, it into this case, which is uh, N35, uh, also a 3D printed case. Um, of course, it comes with all the, the goodies uh, you need to build this. Um, here's the little buttons. Um, so um, this this is an interesting build though. What I'm going to do though is when I get this built, I'm going to try and install a GPS in it. And I know that doesn't come with it, that's extra, but I'm going to attempt that and I'm going to put a, a decent antenna on it. So uh, let's see, I do see there's some interesting parts here that came with it. So uh, let's have a look. Um, of course, you want to connect the antenna to the Haltec V3 on the IPX. You never want to start these boards without an antenna. Um, and um, I can see that I've installed the buttons. You saw me put the buttons in there. That comes in the kit. And uh, that's how the, the, the board goes. Um, and it looks good to me so far. Um, antenna goes through here. There's a, there's a lot of space in this case. We can see that the antenna goes through there. And, um, you know, you would tighten that with, uh, with uh, uh, the nut at the top. I've actually taken the, the little, um, everything off of this. Um, the washers and stuff so that the nut can come out as, as far as possible over the antenna connector. Then um, I'm going to put, like I said, a, a different antenna on here, which is not the normal antenna, which is a much bigger antenna. So right, I've got a much bigger antenna on there. I've got the board over there. I've got the battery over here. And um, let's see, the way this would go is like that. That makes total sense. So I want to put the battery in here. It does come with this little pad, uh, a double-sided tape, which I will use to uh, tape um, the battery into the case. So put that on the back of a battery, take that off, and put that into the case. There we go. And then plug that in over there and the board will now turn on after you plug it in. Of course, and that's why you want to have the antenna connected when you do this. So that's connected. And there we go. This will load. We'll see a Haltech over there and I'll load the uh, the uh, Haltech firmware on there in a second. But like I said, I want to do uh, this a little bit differently. I want to also install a GPS in this. So this unit, by default, doesn't come with a GPS. Um, and I'm going to try and install this GPS, which is, I can't believe oops, the size of these now. Just look at the size of that. That is unbelievably small. 
So uh, GPS typically has four wires, uh, vol uh, vault, ground, uh, TX and RX. And I'm going to connect that up to the Haltech and I'll show some schematic on how that's connected. So let me go do that soldering quickly and see if I can get this GPS unit installed inside of this uh, case. So give me a few minutes on that one. Right, um, so um, I'll show some pictures, the GPS units inside here, very nice. Um, this is really very easy to assemble, you know, these little um, uh, nuts they provide just goes in there. And uh, you screw these from the other side. Let me get my screwdriver. Right. The unit is now complete and uh, with its antenna, and uh, let me load my Stastic on it next. So, um, right, so here's the uh, N35. You can see the default unit, uh, it has the 3000 milliamp battery, it has the bigger case, the Heltec V3, very nice. But um, I've added uh, the GPS to it now. So um, you would uh, plug in the the uh, USB-C connector and uh, I'm going to go to flasher.mestastic.org I'm going to choose Haltech V3 I'm going to load the latest 3.7 on there and I'm going to hit flash I'm going to hit continue I'm going to say full erase and I'm going to say erase and flash and um, you know you can see I'll unplug it and I'll replug it and you'll see that um, in the, the list of available serial ports, this one is the one we're talking about. Now Windows is different than uh, uh, Mac, of course, but um, what we'll see it go through now is erasing the flash. Um, so we're flashing the Mesh-tastic uh, firmware onto this board now. So uh, we'll see that. Um, I'll speed this up a little bit because this takes a little bit of time to erase the board first. Right, now that it's finished flashing the board, it's going to actually load the Mestastic firmware onto the uh, Haltech V3 device. You see it's almost done there. And uh, we wait for this and when it says leaving, we're good to disconnect the power. Right. So we're back to the device. We can see that there it is. Um, I can, in this new firmware, I can, uh, that's the reset, uh, uh, um, that's the reset button. This is the select button. So I'm going to select US and I'm going to long press and this device will automatically um, reboot now and be on the US frequency. So that's uh, your selection in this new uh, 2.7 firmware. I could have done so from the mobile app also. I've now um, also downloaded the mobile app and installed that. So um, let's go and do a scan on the mobile app. So I'm doing a scan to see if I can find a device. And this device, it's written over here that it is 0738. So I'm going to look for that specific device. And I see 0738 over there. 
and I'm going to pair with that. It's going to give me a code over here. So I'm going to pair and connect. Right, and that is 892, 823. There we go. This mobile app and this device is now connected. Right? So um, let's go have a look. And we can see that it's discovering devices already. But since I installed the um, the uh, GPS in this unit, I'd be interested to see under position, it says GPS not present. So I'm going to try and enable that. Right, so I uh, ended up uh, configuring the, the um, GPS. If you go into... Uh, position. You see that I've got uh, GPS enabled and I've got it on pin 47 and 48. You saw in the picture that I've got it on pin 47, 48, ground and 3.3 volts. There is a, you can put it on a GPS enable pin. Uh, you know, you can actually uh, put a little uh, um, transistor. Then it would turn off the GPS hardware. And those go to a little GPS. The GPS is now inside here, you know, inside this case, which is, uh, you know, very nice. You can see there's the GPS location uh, showing over there on the screen. So, um, yeah, um, this uh, is now the uh, Meshnology N35 with a uh, GPS uh, unit installed. And... Um, you know, this guy is now, uh, um, obviously, it's, it's receiving all the, 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 you know, the nodes, and it's part of a network now. I can go give it a new name, you know, I can go in there and, and give it a different name if I like. Whatever, um, uh, um, you know, under user, you would, you know, it's known as Mestastic0738 at the moment. I can give it a nice name, that kind of thing. Uh, but, yeah. That is building this uh, Meshnology N35 with a uh, GPS. It doesn't come with it, but, you know, those GPSs are dirt cheap. I suggest if you've got a nice big case like this, do what I just did here, put the GPS in there, and uh, then you got a nice unit with its own GPS. Um, I really like the case, the size of it. It's got the 3,000 milliamp hour battery in there, which will last quite a while. And um, then, um, yeah, uh, uh, you know, with, with that, you also don't then need access to, to a phone because in the new firmware, um, you can do everything from the, uh, the device itself. So um, really awesome. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll speak next time.